Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to another Title Town Hall. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, bringing to you another added value interview. Today, we're going to be talking about private money, hard money, and we have the owner of Equity Max, Brad Emmer, joining us today. Since 2003, Independence Title has been the leading provider of title insurance, real estate, and mortgage closing services in Fort Lauderdale, as well as throughout the entire state of Florida. Independence Title, come close with us. My friend Brad, welcome to the show today. How are you? Hope all is well over there. I am doing fantastic. So as one of our trusted lending professionals i welcome you on the show today we're trying to just add extreme value to everyone we will give you an opportunity to talk a little bit about obviously equity to max and and the products and services that you deliver uh but we want to just talk to the viewers today a little bit about what's going on in the market what are you seeing uh values so uh for those of you that are watching brad emmer is one of our private lenders he attends pretty much every uh local real estate investor club in town so we get to network with him often we close a lot of their deals uh so brad welcome to the show tell us uh, a little bit about equity max we are hard money lenders lending in 44 states uh we've been doing this since 1991 so that's about 30 years um and uh i lend only my own money uh no uh, outside money no hedge funds no uh no brokering, just strictly direct loans. We're also real estate brokers and we broker a lot of real estate sales and work often with your company to close those deals. Awesome. I think that's one of the most important parts that, uh, you know, when we introduce people to Equity Max, one of the important parts is, you know, we talk about fast money, easy title and, and making sure that it's a seamless transaction that, you know, if Brad's lending his own money, you don't have to jump through hoops to have uh, you know, one person inspect it, another person appraise it, another person underwrite it. Uh, it's Brad. You call Brad or Ellie in the office, uh, Greg as well as in the office, Brad's son. And, uh, you know, they're able to fund deals super quick. Uh, so for those of you that are looking to do deals, you know, Brad's definitely a resource. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about private money. You know, we see, you know, people are trying to go to their local bank, they get denied, or, or maybe they're trying to buy a property with uh, maybe some code violations or so, some permitting issues, maybe uh, a house that's in, in pretty bad shape. So how does that come into play with your type of financing? Should an investor find a deal? What, what do they need to have? Really, when the, the, it's as easy as this, it's pretty seamless. Uh, usually we get phone calls in from people advising of a specific property they wanna buy, or they need a proof of funds on for the seller, which will supply at no charge. Uh, one of us, uh, one of the aforementioned people you mentioned, along with a few others, will get the property up on the screen with our software. And within about 30 seconds, we can determine uh, a good loan to value once we know what the purchase price is. Um, at that point, we, we advise the borrower we need a small inspection fee and we can run their credit only if it's a first time borrower. Uh, we write up, uh, and by the way, they get credit for that inspection fee against their closing costs. We write up an immediate term sheet, and uh, and then uh, the next thing that takes place is that uh, there's a phone call coming from our doc prep attorney, usually to you, Kevin, asking for the title commitment, lien search, and as soon as that's ready, we fund. Uh, no appraisals needed uh, on residential properties or residential income properties. No survey needed. It's very seamless. Like I said before, it's my own money. So we don't have to go through any sort of an underwriting process. It's it's fast. It's just fast and, and no questions asked, really. It's uh, none of these last minute surprises. And and I could have a further comment about what's going on in the market now vis-a-vis -vis that same scenario. Yeah, I mean, definitely, you know, a lot of people are, are scared. Uh, I just came off of the uh, Bria webinar, which we had about uh, almost 200 people on there. And they did a poll talking about how many people are new in the business. So it seems to be a lot of people are checking out resources because maybe they've been recently laid off. They're looking to get into the business and we're trying to tell them now is the time. Now is the time that we're going to start seeing some more uh, pre foreclosures coming on the market, short sales. Uh, and we just want to make sure that, you know, we're able to guide them 
properly what to do. So it's nice to hear that, you know, obviously first time you're going to pull their credit, but pretty much if they have a great deal, right? If they have a good deal, they can come to you and you'll analyze their deal and give them the money. Is it that easy, right? It, it is pretty much that easy. And, and frankly, uh, well, first of all, we only pull the credit the first time. And secondly, even if the credit is not good, there's still a loan out there for them. We might ask for a little bit more cash. Maybe the rate won't be the drop dead lowest, but we will make the loan. This is truly an equity loan. And at a time when we're getting at least a half a dozen calls a week from other loan originators and various people asking what's going on in the lending market. My lenders stopped lending or they've raised their rates or they've, they've dropped their loan to values. I mean, there's a lot of fear and, and trepidation out there in the market. And look, to be honest with you, we're not idiots. We see what's going on and we're not going to make stupid loans. But what's happening is a lot of lenders who were throwing caution to the wind. You get a little blip in the market that just took place where the where the stock market drops a couple of thousand points. All of a sudden, a margin call gets made. And before you know it, the hedge fund behind that other lender is pulling in their horns. In our case, it's always been my own money and uh, nothing really changes here. And and. You know, further to what you said before, um, the uh, just like the stock market, when when the market is running in one direction, you've got to have the guts to go in the opposite direction. You're right. This is the time to find deals, and the window's not going to be open long. That's right. I mean, I think I don't think it's going to last much longer. I think we're going to see. Uh, you know, this is going to end shortly, and it's going to be the time for for people to jump into the market. And uh, you know, we'll say take advantage, but. Uh, you know, yeah, take advantage of, of the times and be able to help homeowners and save them from foreclosure. Maybe, maybe you know, work on some short sales and, and really help people uh, get out of financial distress because, you know, we know we were looking at the, the numbers. Let's say there's 25 million people out of work and then all of a sudden, you know, we get back to normal and, and let's say 20 million of, of the 25 million get back to work. You still have 5 million people unemployed out of the 5 million, the statistics are anywhere between 50 and 65% of those people are homeowners, which means that we're going to have a lot of homeowners that are going to be facing foreclosure, short sale, uh, having to delay payments, having to miss payments, bad credit, not able to make payments on things. So, I mean, I think it's going to definitely fuel our, uh, our market, at least from, from what, you know, what we're used to. So we may see an upturn in our business as opposed to thinking, uh, you know, we were going to have a market correction because we were due. This may actually fuel our market. I mean, the, the NAR numbers we were looking at uh, were up compared to this time last year. So, yeah, and I think uh, what you mentioned before about opportunities, I don't think the window is going to close that fast. I, I don't think it's going to be like a, a switch that you can turn on and off because let's face it, there's a lot of businesses that are going to be affected longer. Let's face it, you, you, me, Restaurants, a lot of a lot of small operations can open or open in modified fashion. But what about sporting events? What about even big investment club meetings? Large gatherings represent a huge section of our business, not to mention airline and cruise travel. And I think there are going to be some lingering issues that uh, are going to present opportunity, maybe in a diminishing uh, fashion, but still opportunities out there for real estate purchases for a while yet. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we're definitely going to see it in the travel industry, tourism, uh, you know, the restaurants, food and beverage. It's definitely going to harm that industry. And we don't have a crystal ball. It may harm the real estate industry as well. We just don't know. But all we can look at to predict is that, you know, we're here to help homeowners, especially as investors, which we're catering to, you know, having a guest such as yourself on here. We're not necessarily catering to your traditional first time home buyer. We're catering to the investors and we feel the investors are going to have a huge opportunity as we're moving in to to you know this, this tough economic time due to COVID-19 we may see opportunities for these investors uh to get in and maybe get some rental properties or or get some rehabs or get some rentals because you know people are going to need a place to live once they get their job back if for some reason you know they were forced out of their rental or they were forced out of their home um, you know, it's going to be a good rental market, I think, for investors. You know, at least that's what I think. For those of you that are watching, don't I forget. Agree. No, I, I agree with you. I will tell you that being both a real estate broker and a lender, the phone calls we are getting in are, are, are um, 
sort of predicting some trends that are about to take place. Like for instance, you know, some of the shopping malls in America are going to turn into Amazon warehouses. Uh, although that's really for bigger numbers and maybe doesn't directly affect the markets that you and I deal in. But here's an area that does. Uh, for instance, I, I bought a home recently and the condo that I used to live in, I put up for sale. Well, it so happens that that, that condominium building, a high rise, is not allowing any real estate showings. I know other people in that building that have condos for sale that are getting desperate. So condominium, and I know other, other sellers in the same position. So right now, condo sellers might be willing to make deals. Some of those people have to sell. That's right. Yeah, I mean, listen, time's going to tell. You know, at first we were talking about on the webinar today how, you know, our economy was almost completely shut down. Realtors couldn't, couldn't work. Uh, appraisers couldn't work. Inspectors couldn't work. And then all of a sudden, you know, they lifted those restrictions because of, of the people that are lobbying for those industries. So, you know, listen, we've seen it uh, hold steady. Is it a new norm? Absolutely. Things are getting more remote. We're doing more and more of these uh, conversations on on Zoom and and you know video conferencing, uh, but you know we're still you know we're still closing you know forty to fifty deals, uh, which isn't the norm. It's a little bit less, but we're just adapting to the new norm. If that's the new norm right now, because twenty five million people are out of work and it, it's causing our our economy to have a little bit of a slowdown, we're still going to be on top of it. We're still going to do what we're going to do. Uh, we're just going to have to do it a little bit differently. So. Uh, you know, we we uh, we definitely are well, adapting to the market. Yeah, it's the same here. We have to adapt, and I agree with you. I think that uh, the market is going to maybe not shift totally permanently, but I think it will shift more to an electronic, remote type of way of commerce. And uh, you know, same thing here. Uh, you know, the the nature of the loan requests we're getting from a hard money standpoint, uh, like I said, a little bit different. More people. Uh, coming from lenders that can't make deals and less from investors that are actually going out there and seeing homes. But, you know, we adapt, we, we adapt and uh, that's all we can do and just keep hustling. And, you know, I tell you, I remember that, uh, you know, years ago, somebody once said to me, uh, a decade or two decades from now, there'll be ways of making money that you and I don't even advantage, don't even imagine now. So, you know, 10 years ago, could someone have imagined Zoom or 20 years ago, could they have imagined social media? I mean, things are changing and we just have to roll the punches. Absolutely right. All right. Well, we're running out of time here. I like to keep these to about 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, if, if someone watching this obviously wants to get more information about your company, we did put your website up here. What's a good way for them to reach out to you? Should they get a property under contract? Now, remember, ladies and gentlemen, just like you're not going to call the title company and start asking all sorts of information before you have a deal under contract. Wait to call Brad. Wait till you get the deal locked up. Get the deal under contract. You think you have a good deal, write a contract with an inspection period and then call Brad and say, Brad, I think I got a deal and Brad will be the first one to tell you. So how can they reach out to you? Should they have a scenario they want to run by you? Um, and even before you get a deal, if you need that proof of funds letter and think you're about to get the deal, it's sure fine to call. But you can call our office, 954-267-9103, anywhere in 44 states of the United States, certainly easily anywhere in Florida. You could uh, go to our website, equitymax.com, and there's uh, several spots there where you can click on and make a, an electronic inquiry. And uh, you can fax us, 954-771-2407. And just email. You don't have to remember anybody's name. Just email info at equitymax.com, any one of a million ways. Just remember the name Equity Max. Go to the internet. You'll find us. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Brad. I appreciate you coming on today, uh, taking the time out of your busy day. I know you're super busy underwriting loans, and we're busy closing deals, but we want to definitely bring as much value uh, to our viewers as possible. You know, we only close in Florida, uh, but it's important to know that, you know, because we do attend a lot of the events and, you know, there, there are probably five or six lenders that are at every one and, and each one has their unique opportunity and what they give to the industry. And, and one of the two that, well, actually two things that I think is really important with you is A, it's your own money, which means you're underwriting the deal. So it comes out of your bank account. It's your money. It's your risk. But I think the second and one of the other most important parts is most of the other lenders that come to the events are only lending uh, in South Florida. If, if the property's not in, in Miami, Broward or Palm Beach, they don't even want to look at it. 
And as you said, you lend in 44 states, but most importantly, the entire uh, state of Florida and you attend all the RIAs in Florida as well. So uh, I think that's important for people to understand. Yes, I, I want to thank you very much for the opportunity to interface. They must be doing what you was terrific, and uh, I welcome the opportunity again. All right. Well, thank you very much for everyone who wa who's watching this video. Please click like, share, maybe create a watch party, bring some viewers onto our next show, uh, which will be Friday. We're going to be previewing someone who has some great technology talking about virtual tours of properties. So you want to show your property using a virtual tour, uh, maybe some cool goggles and stuff uh, to be able to take people through that experience. You want to tune in and share our channel to get them on the show uh, on Friday at three o'clock. So as always, my name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO of Independence Title. As soon as COVID-19 passes, I look forward to seeing you and your clients at the closing table. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe.